My name is Loredana Kirsta and what follows is an unfortunate story that never should have happened to an Ethereum developer. I am a volunteer for Ethereum with more than 80 hours of coding per week, making videos, writing articles, researching and planning. The Ethereum core developers act as if they want to have a monopoly on all the strategic ideas for Ethereum. If you have a strategic idea, your work will be sidelined and buried. Then it will be appropriated by the core devs under another name whenever they come around to understand that it is a strategic idea. What can you do about this? I will tell you at the end of the video. Today I will only talk about the most recent example. I have been working on pipeline infrastructure focused on interoperability of Ethereum protocols and especially smart contracts since 2018. I presented it at ETHCC Paris, the first Solidity conference and Berlin Ethereum meetups. My work on Pipeline has appeared multiple times in Wiki Ethereum issues between 2018 and 2021. Pipeline tackled interoperability between smart contracts at transaction level on and off chain. The specific idea and implementation that I am talking about was first published on GitHub in September 2019. Even though it was developed some time earlier. It is a flow graph interpreter. Specifically, it is flow based programming applied to the EVM. You can program complex chaining of EVM calls and how an output from a call is used by the input of another call. This was demoed several times in March 2020. This is a feature preview for our upcoming pipeline on-chain graph interpreter. The graph interpreter contract receives a pipeline graph and user-given inputs and runs that graph on-chain. You can save the graph on-chain and anyone will be able to reuse it with your inputs or their own inputs. You are now able to batch multiple transactions and do complex computations on chain data in a single transaction. Even more, executing a graph that was stored on-chain means that you now have a trustless atomic execution of logic. Until now, along with a visual language, to compose these complex graphs that are run and saved on-chain. This demo appeared in Wikin Ethereum. in March 15, 2020. The Pipeline Graph Interpreter contract is now available in Pipeline in an experimental stage for Robson, Ringby, Covan and Gourley testnets. Pipeline is now the first on-chain interpreted language, allowing you to execute complex scripts in a single transaction. With Pipeline, scripts are composed visually in the form of graphs which can be stored on-chain, reused and nested inside other graphs. You will find some already loaded. Now Nick Johnson from the Ethereum name service ENS has re-implemented this idea. claiming that there was no other implementation equal or better than his. Unlike Pipeline, his work was done privately in stealth mode, and it was only published when done. Hence, he did not ask if there are already solutions to this problem, because he never intended to recognize the best of them. This is not my first interaction with Mr. Johnson, where he blocked my proposals, but I'm not going to talk about those instances in this video only to declare that he knew me and my work 
and that he had a conflict with me since June 2019. When my partner told Mr. Johnson about Pipeline and Taylor, he first claimed that he did not know about Taylor. I gave a link to a video which clearly explained in the first two minutes what our EVM graph interpreter does. And then he claimed that he did not know about neither Taylor nor Pipeline. And then he acted like our interpreter still does not do what his Wayroll project does. When I pressured him to put into words what Wayroll does, he wanted to draw the conclusion that I did not understand what his Wayroll does. Then he conceded that our projects might have the same goal, but that other projects have had the idea to chain EVM operations too even though in his first tweet he was clear and focused on the point that no other project than his can have operations dependent on one another. Then when I gave him a link to my first published version and asked for him to provide proof that somebody else implemented this idea before me, he responded that he does not have to defend his ideas to me. The fact that he is someone who does not have to defend his work in front of a volunteer who did that exact work two years prior was liked by six people. One of which, Trent Van Epps, is the ecosystem liaison for the Ethereum Foundation. This statement can be interpreted in many ways, none of which confirm me with the minimum amount of respect that you give a fellow developer. Then when people other than me commented, he claimed that it is possible to come up with the same idea independently and that it was an obvious one. Then he claimed that others came up with the same idea and implemented it before my first published version. Let's see MakerDAO's multi-call to which he contributed to. This is the code of his first example. This aggregate function. This is it, an array of bytes. When confronted with the fact that his first and main example was a multi-call by a simple array of bytes representing each call data known in advanced and not flow-based programming. He conceded that claim, but he wanted to lose more of our time and send us for a wild witch hunt into several repos without providing a clear and direct link to relevant source code created before my version. Mr. Johnson also misrepresents our claims. He uses the word plagiarism multiple times, a word that we have never used. When called out on his unprofessionalism, Mr. Johnson acted in the same way that he acted in our earlier conflicts. He left the discussion, not before saying some ad hominems and letting us know that no one will want to work with us and that we should think about this interaction with him when that happens. During this conversation, my partner opened an issue in the Wayroll repository mentioning my project and saying that they stole the idea without giving credit and inviting them to contribute to the original repository which has a GPL version 3 license. His issue was deleted, not just closed and locked 
but deleted to not leave a trace. I wanted to make a PR with a mention to my prior work. But I could not fork the repository. Because this is what you do in a decentralized, free community when your goal is to build the world's computer or global settlement layer for everybody. You block and silence any and all prior work. So the project was so important to them that it was kept in stealth mode and it has its own organization on GitHub. But when someone else has the idea two years before them, the idea is suddenly obvious. Again, when someone wants to create an issue or a PR mentioning prior work, the Wayroll team deletes the issue and blocks forking the repository. Is this the behavior of an honest person? Is this the behavior of a person who thinks this idea is obvious and without merit? Or is this the behavior of a person who knows that this is a strategic piece, the building block for on-chain protocol interoperability in Ethereum? And he does not want to give credit to anybody, especially a volunteer without funds to protect her work. A billionaire ready to steal a volunteer's work and ideas, to remove any sign of your existence in the space of ideas that he wants to own. And this is all with the blessing of the Ethereum Foundation. They have spoken through Trent Van Epps, their community liaison, who supports the fact that Mr. Johnson does not have to give me any explanation. I'm a volunteer for Ethereum with more than 80 hours per week. I sacrificed making money because I want a clean start for my projects. I am no billionaire, and all I have is my work. The least the Ethereum community can do for me and others like me is attest this work and the ideas presented in it by upvoting and retweeting, so no one can say that they did not see our work. What can you do besides propagating my Twitter and Reddit project announcements? Comment with other cases where the work of other developers has been stolen, buried, renamed and or reattributed in the Ethereum ecosystem. Dear Ethereum humans, might does not make right. Being wealthy, better connected, even blessed by the Ethereum Foundation does not give you the right to rob us of our intellectual property. Do a PR to Wayroll mentioning my project as prior work. Text in the description. Do the honest thing. Own an honest space. This is Ethereum.